Good afternoon, everybody. We are back with a new game. Uh, we're gonna play with the sound and everything as we go. Sounds okay so far. Uh, this is 100 Days uh, Wine Making Simulator. It was, I think, free on Epic and it sounded good. Uh, wine making sounds interesting, I guess. So let's see. I think it detected the mouse. Uh, I mean, it's my vineyard. We should get. Uh, there is no wine. Grapes. Are you kidding me? Go purple, go grapes. What? Hmm. Okay, so no grapes. I don't care about flowers. Let's get uh, feather. This is kind of cool. Go purple because of wine. Or we can go. Is there good green? Not really. I'm thinking now. <laughs> I know it's stupid. I'm thinking bottles and stuff, and uh, what logo is gonna go well? If you go transparent logo, which might not even go transparent. Oh, there is a background. Okay, my bad. So we don't care about that. Again, okay, nothing great wise for vineyard simulator. It's kind of weird. Can you play with? Oh, there is this. That's gonna. I like how you're moving logo real on the background. Okay. So let's set this as a... There is no dark green, so I'm gonna take this, I think. Maybe this is nice, and then logo is gonna be a nice, strong one. Okay. Wish I could position it. It's not center this one. Let's check other ones. But yeah, these can also make sense for wines, right? I don't know why I'm fixed it on these colors. The sound just stopped from the game. I was making my logo too long. It's again wines. I should go. Ooh. And it's a back same sound. Okay, what do we do? With other background. Maybe I'm too. I mean, I like it. Hmm. Something with more curves, I like more. Okay, that's it. Uh, color, just change that, maybe no. No. It's not bad, but no. I don't know why I'm spending so much time on this. Okay, you... Uh, the name is going to be something with cast, cast wine, just wine, cast wine. I'm spending too, way too much time, I spend way too much time on this. Okay, it's not perfectly hitting any of the lines. I wish there was like overflow cut, so I can do something like this and it would be cut, but it's not. I mean, I kind of like this too. Doesn't matter, it's off, but eh, let's have it like this. We may even fail. Ooh, endless mode, that's good. Because. I guess this is places. Because the only thing about this that scared me was 100 days. I didn't want to have anything limited. Hey, Popo. So, um. 
Yeah, let's jump in. Let's see what this game does. Uh, here it refers to characteristic of vineyard, altitude, pH, and salt position. I don't know anything about that. Okay. <laughs> this looks like vineyard. Uh, when you're happy with your placement and ready to move on, click on the button in the right corner to proceed the next day. How is going? Slowly. <laughs> you have no idea, dude. We're just starting. See. Boring company. This is Elon Musk. He has that digging company. It's called, called Boring Company or something like that. Okay. Drag cards. Rotate tile. What? Uh, how is this wine making? I mean, there is no way I can fit two because they're both same shape. Okay, office work is boring and unexciting, but I'm still at job. Okay, let's assume this is that the regular beginning, right? You get a shitty job and you run and you inherit a grandparents something something vineyard space old space okay so we can play this boat we can Oh, it's how much they, they are staying, okay. Still not sure what I'm doing. Still tired after just four hours nap. Yeah, you had that big ship. Some activities have special results. Let's flashing orange button to view, okay. Uh, okay, just one thing. Popo, how's the sound of the game? Not right now, now it's quieter, but... So I understand what it is. Okay, we have my seed. Tutorial, sure. But it's okay. Yeah, just tell me, Popo, since you're there, how is the sound in the game? Now it's loud. I don't expect it's gonna be this loud when we jump in the game, but... Okay, let's see. My dearest Emma. Oh, nice. I doubt you remember me. My name is Beppe and I am an enologist. Okay. Winemaking has ruled my life as a tyrant, devouring any free time I had until I have reached the end of my journey, still chasing the perfect wine. There is a long list of winemakers. It's a bit loud. Yeah, it was a bit loud for me. Sorry. But this time, I will rebel against what is logical for you. Just listen to this. While we need to treasure our tradition, we also need to make room for innovative solutions, newcomers to fill Acorn. our ranks. I want you to run my business and become a winemaker. Ooh. It's not going to be easy, That's okay. but I promise you, it will be worth it. Your vineyards await. <laughs> hey, come on. It's been a long time. But yeah, Popo, how was your 20 hour, 24 hour shift? Anything cool happened? But yeah, let, we're gonna probably, we'll see how it's when we go to the vineyard. If it's still loud, I'm gonna lower the sound. Yeah, just give me info. I'm not gonna skip. Click. Space. Skip. Skip. Uh, to be honest, I have no idea. Hey, Theo. Good to see you. Uh, this is 100 Days Vineyard Simulator. To be honest, I can't say I understand what it is. Besides, it's Vineyard Simulator. It started very weird, placing the tiles, like, I don't know. But yeah, we are trying a totally new game. It's a first day. So, <laughs> hope it's gonna be fun so I can play it more. But yeah. Feeling thirsty and we finna hydrate. 
to the dear cheers. If you don't think the driving train is cool, then nothing. Who said it's not cool? I think it's cool. But I mean, you didn't drive for full 24 hours, right? That shouldn't be legal. <laughs> That's why I'm asking, like, if anything happened other than... Saw something cool. Driving and stuff. But yeah, Tia, good to see you. you... Again, I would say it's been a while, but uh, you actually jumped in for a short moment a couple days ago. Anyway, this is Anna. Hi, my name is Anna and I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, hi, Anna. Uh, nice to meet you. Okay, she's talking fast. It's great to finally meet you and put a face to a name. Heard so much about you from old man. We are at Anna's house. Oh, have you? Oh, we are Emma, okay. It was from mail. Something is with everything. Yeah, I will tell you everything about it. Don't worry. But all in due time. I just thought it would be nice to introduce myself and greet you. So here I am. I wish it was voice acted since they started with the voice. I wish everything was voice acted, not just the first email. Well, letter. You ask if something cool happened. Yeah, like this. I don't know. Like you saw something cool, or because I didn't know you're gonna drive the single train, or like be, you drove a new train. I, like I don't know how the twenty-four hour shift works, Papa. <laughs> like are you in the same train for twenty-four hours? I drove. A... Manipulating train and had pizza for breakfast. That's cool. I like pizza. I didn't eat pizza in ages. Damn, okay. Very kind of you. Okay, see, she's constantly very... Oh, she's not happy. Cutting us. Uh, you must be exhausted. How was your journey? Okay, so we actually finished the sentence this time. Pizza, yeah? <laughs> Sounds good. But yeah, how are you doing, Theo? Theodore. It's been ages. Actually talking much. Yeah, actually I'm a bit tired. Uh, flight was delayed and kind of packed, you know. Oh, girl, I can't imagine that. Let me know if there is anything I can do for you, okay? Anything at all. Ooh. I play this. It's fun. I'm not going to spoil it at all. Thank you. Okay, good to know it's fun because I have no idea what we're going to do in this one. About that, it's gonna be a new, if I like it, new weekend game. So every weekend we're gonna play this. Uh, from now on, until well, the game is done or I'm done with it. I like that there is endless mode. We'll see, because I was scared about hundred days in the in the title. About that, how do I run this place? The letter wasn't particularly clear on the matter. Oh, that's a big question. But you're in luck. The old man has left some instructions for you to follow. Oh, hey, Bobo. Uh, but, but he was a bit worried you feel overwhelmed reading everything in one go. You don't always drive the same line per day. You get one route and you can get other train and drive other line. You should change after two rotation in a main station of you work for. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it doesn't get boring that way. That's nice. I'll pass notes to you one by one when the time feels right. That seems so weird, but okay. He he has entrusted me with this task and I shall oblige. Overwhelmed is a word, so more handwritten notes and letters, you say? I gather he wasn't particularly tech savvy. No, really, he belonged to another generation. Other times, other means of communication. But you'll be fine, don't worry. Back to your question, you should really give a Theo a call 
will help you run this place. Okay, who's Theo? Theo, okay. Do you know him? Yeah, nice guy. Tall, strong arms, big hands. Oh, he seems to know him well or well. He's the youngest son of the old lady who runs bakery in the town. Wonderful loaves of bread, white bread, granary bread, you name it. They have it. Not to mention the cakes. On a sunny morning, the smell of cakes that permeates the entire street. Promise me. Promise me you will try those cakes. Oh, and... Theo, how do I find him? Hey, monkey man. Too much reading for me. Not good content. I hope... Yeah. Theo is... Monkey Theo is saying it's a good content, so... He liked it, so... I'm high hopes now. I didn't know what to expect, but we'll see. I don't expect there's gonna be this much reading through the game. I think this is just big start. Oh dear, I'm going again. I'm rambling, and I... I'm such blubber mouth. Blubber mouth. Sometimes. Right, Theo. It's really simple, you just ring him up. He'll be here in no time. Can I get a number? Great, thanks. I'm not gonna ask for a number. No worries at all. Now I'll leave you be. I have a mini paddy, money paddy, paddy. Oh, manicure and pedicure, probably. Book at my favorite nail spa and can't possibly be late, you know. Unpack, settle down, get familiar with the place and... And... Some streamer was playing brewing game, beer? Ooh, I didn't hear about that one. That could be fun. Breathe in. Can you smell it? Smell what? Cakes? Oh dear, you don't have a clue, do you? Nope. Smell air, girl. Fill your lungs with it. Absorb it. Welcome to Lang. Make yourself at home. Nice. Oh. Oh, we wait. We're going to be placing... Weaving? I was going to read this wedding. But this doesn't seem like a good wedding. Howdy. Hey, Theo. Bye-bye. Complete the office. Okay. True. You already lost money. We are level 10? That's weird. Should I start with level 1? Okay. Howdy. Hello. Are you Theo? That would be me. Yes. Great. You spoke on a phone yesterday. I really need your need your help. I'm happy to help. Truth is, I was waiting for your call. Oh. You know, old man was instructed us all. Has instructed us all. Oh, that's an ominous. Ah, nonsense. It just showed how much he cared for you and for his lands. So I heard, but I never met the man. I have no idea what kind of person he was. I can't help feeling that he, he's left me sitting on a wasteland. I almost miss office. Really? Look at the flowers, they are huge. Bigger than a car. Come on, you don't really mean that. She doesn't. I'll be happy to be proved wrong. So, how this winemaking thing work? The question is perhaps too bad. Wait. Okay, just a second. I'll be honest, I have no idea when it comes to gardening. My name I named my last houseplant Dodo because exhibition <laughs> is ultimate fate to all my plane plants. Doomed to perish the instant I buy them. Not even sucrose? They are hard to kill, you know? <laughs> He's serious, I love it. <laughs> Nada. No green fingers whatsoever. No cute artisan ceramic vases. Not even fancy terrarium with a tiny green creature growing inside. Not for me, sadly. You know? If you... Yeah, the sound seems to be pretty loud. I'm gonna probably lower that after this. If you feel like... Fixing this, I have distant cousin who is a florist in town. Okay. 
I know. How you know? Do you? How could you possibly know? Oh, let me guess. Anna told you. Bingo. Shouldn't... We didn't read that. I didn't... I don't know. They told me a bunch of things about you, but I digress. So, what are the basic of winemaking thing? I will have no chance without your wisdom. Agreed. <laughs> so? Oh, you mean right now? Okay. I see. Okay, let's start from something easy yet fundamental, like weeding. Yeah, I'm gonna lower the sound. Oh, we can't. Is it about... I will stop you right there. It isn't. Weeding is ab about preserving the moisture of the soil by reducing competition. Competition for the mi mineral nutrients required by the vines to grow. Clear enough? Well, makes sense. Don't let other stuff. Okay. In short, death to the weeds, long live the vines. That's a bizarre way of putting it, but uh, yeah, in a nutshell. Okay, great. Let's just pretend weeds are my houseplants. They will work like a charm. Okay. Oh, this is tutorial unless you can always disable tutorial from setting games. Okay. Can I... So guys, was the music here too loud? I think it was. So we're gonna lower the music a bit. Quite a bit. And I want it in the background. We'll see as tool shed winery warehouse. Well that's cheap. Brico. Cosette. Roche. Castelto. Castelletto. Principe. Kinstra. Krem. Kassot. Renate. Okay, we have a bunch of stuff. Uh, general update. Oh my god, that's a big stuff. So this is uh, the one we got. Season winner, summer. Summer will really surprise you with the greenest of the greens. As if the Histian painter in the testing their handmade colors on your vineyard. Hestian. What the hell is Hestian? That kind of painter. Uh, shades of emerald will define the rose with every stroke of paint adding new leaves and new life to the hills. Heat will dry out the ground. It will silence any noises in vineyard and numb your senses. And <laughs> incandescent? Incandescent sun. Damn, I wish I knew better English. In a deep blue sky with no clouds will take care of your vines. Until first rain of September will wash summer away. Remember, when the smell of pre petriture premates your vineyard, it will be almost time to harvest. Good to know. I guess. Fine on a house, town, other vineyards or people. Okay. Clearing, regression, terracing, okay. Plowing, planting, suckering, suckering, training, crop, crop thinning, treatments, recovery, harvest, planning. Okay. So we got about every single wine, the info. Oof. Okay. So, oh. We're gonna have to learn a lot. <laughs> Interesting. So, with the red one, you get press. Oh, it's a different way around? Hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting. Is this real life too? I need to ask my grandfather. I have a grandfather, not my closest one. I don't know how you say that, but it's like not not, not my father or mother. Grandfather, it's like a uh, brother of their parents, right? Uh, he has a vineyard and really good red wine. Hmm. Aging and bottle aging. I didn't even know there is... Hmm. I mean, it makes sense. But yeah, so this seems to be a difference. Fermentation and press. What you do first. Okay, diseases. Oof. Okay, uh... This is flashing, but I don't see anything I should do here. Okay, go away. So we place this again for two turns. We're gonna be doing that. Oh, did we pay? Yeah, we paid it 300 for that. Oh, look, everything is working. It's a weird thing. Let's see. I'm gonna be pressing this with mouse. Okay, so one turn. We didn't get, didn't get a single card. Yeah, that's gonna be that. Okay. So now, this is done. We are getting crop thinning. That went well. Okay. Season and summer. Okay, uh, do you think so? Was my weeding up your standards? I'd say it was amazing. That's good. Told you, exterminate. Exterminate. I'm good at this. So, what's next? Uh, let's proceed. Now you can learn the fine art of crop thinning. Crop is on a diet. Crops on a diet. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to be quite the right. Baby steps. Basically, you will have to remove some of the flowers and or grape clusters on the grape vine. Wait, what? Why would you ever, ever do that? If you could just let me finish. As I was saying, this procedure is used to achieve yield and quality of goals. And it will allow you to modify the wine balance. Hmm, that's big. I guess we're gonna be, have to balance cards or something like that. If that makes sense, I don't know. Waste of resources that happens by design. I'm getting the waste of resources that happens by design. Am I getting this right? You are. may sound counterintuitive. I will give you that. People thought growers were completely nuts when they first started to practice this technique. A priest from nearby parish was summoned to vineyards to talk some sense into them. Save their souls from blasphemous act of wasting perfectly good grape clusters. So you're not the first one to stare in horror. Okay. So I have to sacrifice some flowers and grape cluster to benefit of those that are left. Correct. It's all about the yield. Are you familiar with the concept? Give me a second. A yield measure is measure in amount of grapes or wine that it's produced per unit surface or vineyard. Get it back. Sorry, I was about to sneeze. <laughs> okay. 
Wait, let me write this down. It makes no sense now, but maybe it will later on. Side. Okay, let's do this. Crop tank. Okay, I should check these. Shape, two days, condition, sun, crop tanning, used to achieve yield and quality, crop tanning, stream used to remove flower and grape, cluster and grape, yeah, okay, you know that, it allows grower to modify balanced fruit to vegetative growth. The intensity of crop thinning is highly dependent on culti cultivar, the wine health and climate. Okay, 